Welcome to the Lawless Family Court video series, which is designed to help you navigate and avoid being abused by our incompetent and literally corrupt family court system in the United States today. And this is happening to some degree in all 50 states. This particular video segment is about the judges violating the judicial canons that require judges not to sit on cases where they have a conflict of interest. The number of this canon may vary by state, but I believe all 50 states have it. Judges must recuse themselves if they have what's called an apparent conflict of interest, which is a fairly low bar. In other words, any normal person would think it may influence the decision they make in the slightest. The fact is that all 50 states get kickbacks on child support under a federal program called Title IV-D that amounts to billions of dollars annually going into the pockets of state judiciary systems. This creates a clear conflict of interest for every judge in family court in every case that has child support. In fact, it's a six-figure conflict of interest in many cases because child support can be paid for 10, 18, or even as many as 24 years in some states where children in college are continue to be uh, paid child support for children even though they're in college. That's a whole other video because other states have found that to be unconstitutional and some states still do it. You can't make a divorced parent pay for college and support a child when after 18 or age 18, a child of a married couple does not have to be supported or to pay for college costs. So every judge in every case in the family court system is violating this judicial canon of an apparent conflict of interest. In Massachusetts, this is called Judicial Canon 3. If you think hundreds of millions of dollars in federal funding don't influence a judge's decision, please give me a call. I have a bridge I want to sell you. It's real cheap and already has a toll booth installed. The fact is, judges award as much as 91% sole custody when we've known for over 15 years now that sole custody is child abuse they're getting $100,000 for terminating parental rights. That should turn your stomach. That should upset the federal legislators who have this unintended consequence that has been going on since the beginning of child support in the 1970s when it was created, frankly, to get welfare mothers who had been abandoned by their fathers off welfare. Years later, they brought the middle class and the upper class in because they saw the volume of kickbacks of monies they could get. The fact of the matter is, every judge in every case is violating their oath of office by sitting on a case where there's a conflict of interest because of these secret money deals that are buried in thousands of pages of federal legislation. Please pass the word to anyone involved in a divorce and visit divorceracket.org, send an email to info at divorceracket.org, and visit fathersunite.org for the statistics and all of the stories of how our family court system is not a court at all. It is effectively a mafia today of judges and lawyers abusing your rights for their own profit and convenience.